Hey guys, I hope that I'm live right now. If you guys are able to listen to me properly, as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. Hello everyone, I hope that I'm live right now, guys. If you guys are able to listen to me properly, as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. All good. No issues with the audio or the video, right, guys? No? Okay, great. Awesome, guys. Awesome. So, how was your day, guys? How was your day? How was your day, guys? Good. That's great. So, today, uh, what we are going to do is I'm going to give you guys some notes. Okay? And I'm going to show you guys how to access them, how to use them. Okay? I want you guys to study from them today. Okay. Today's class, we won't be having a very long class. We'll be having a very short class so that you guys are able to go through the notes. You are able to explore the notes. You are able to use the notes. Okay. So that when you come back tomorrow, you are ready to start with the practicals. Okay. So the notes have been very detailed and it covers up a lot. Okay. It covers up a lot more about Python than what we are going to study in this particular bootcamp. It covers everything about Python. So you don't have to worry about that, but I want you guys to explore the notes today. So instead of, um, I want it to be hands-on. I want it to be so that you guys are putting in the efforts right over there because programming is such a field that if you, if I'm the only one ranting right over here, you will not be able to learn anything. It should be hands-on. It should be something that you guys are also trying on your own. That is the best way of learning programming. Okay. So first of all, let me find the notes for you guys. Okay. Give me a second. Let me open up my GitHub. <clears throat> I will open up your uh, chat as well in the meanwhile, so that I'm able to see what you guys are typing all about. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Delhi Heart is uh, great. Uh, even I went to Delhi Heart, uh, I think a very long time ago, but uh, I really loved it. Uh, it was definitely a great experience for me. Let me search for Dev Town. Dev Town India. Uh, uh, just give me a second guys, because I had created a lot of notes. So one of these repositories have the notes. Okay. I've got it. So these are the notes that I've created for you guys. As you're able to see, there's a lot right over there. It includes pandas. It includes matplotlib, C bond, uh, data visualization, numpy. Uh, it includes some projects as well. It includes everything related to Python, but, uh, right now I'm going to show you guys how to access them. Okay. So, uh, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this link in the description of today's video. So it's already there. So if you scroll down to the description of the video, right guys. So this is the video that you guys are currently watching. Let me just, uh, mute myself right over here so that uh, I'm not facing any kind of problems. Okay. So this is the video that you guys are currently watching as of this video point of time the video into the description box of the video itself, you will be able to see a particular link right over here saying notes. Are you guys able to see notes in the description of the video guys? Are you guys able to see the notes in the description of the video? Please do let me know. Hello guys. Are you able to see the notes in the description of the video? Yes. Everybody is able to see it. Okay. And then thank you so much Anand, for responding to that. Uh, so once you click on these notes, it should open all the notes in a new tab for you guys. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I want to access the day one. So I've di divided the entire note into days. So if you want to follow learning Python, you can just follow the day numbers itself and you will be able to complete the entire thing by I think so in 40 days max. So that's great. Uh, I'm going to click on day one right over here. And that will open this video page for me. Most of the time, this is not going to load for you guys. Okay. Sometimes it will load. Sometimes it won't load. For example, for me, as you're able to see, it is not loading up for me. So instead of opening the notes right over here, I want to use it as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Google collab. I'm going to go on uh, Google and search for collab C O L A B collab right over here. 
So once I open up Collab, I'm going to click on the very first particular link that I'm able to see. Uh, this is a free tool given to us via Google. So for those people who don't have a laptop or who don't have a mobile phone, uh, sorry, who don't have a laptop or a desktop, can use this particular website to code and to learn programming, especially related to data science or artificial intelligence. Um, once you enter into this particular uh, website, you will have to log in through your particular Google IDs and it's a free tool. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, don't buy the, there is a paid version of this, but you don't require it. It's not for you guys. Uh, so once you enter into the tool, uh, there will be a lot of different options available right over here. Examples, recent Google drive, GitHub. I'm going to select GitHub from right over there, guys. Uh, it is going to authorize uh, from GitHub. So do have a GitHub account if it's possible. Uh, once you have logged in and you have clicked on GitHub, you are going to get this search bar in front of you. Okay. Uh, just copy the link to the day one repository. So on this particular, the notes that we were having, right? I clicked on day one. It opened this particular page for me. This is where the day one notes are. I'm going to copy the URL. Okay. I hope so that you guys know what a URL. Okay. The www.google.com. Okay. So just copy the URL from right over there and paste it inside of the search bar. Okay, paste it inside of this search bar right over there, guys, and click on this click search button. Okay, you can click on the search button, you can press enter, whatever you guys like. Just do that. Once you have done that, it is going to show you uh, the path right over here, day one uh, repository. You just have to click on um, the day one repository, that is going to open up the repository for you guys, the notes for you guys on Google Collab directly. As you're able to see, the notes are very well maintained. Uh, everything has been explained right over here. There are a lot of different examples. Uh, you guys can go through it, you can read through it. There are small tasks that I've given to you guys with the expected outputs so that you guys can try it out yourself. And like I said, uh, just the data types and operators, as you're able to see right over here, there are interview questions as well inside of this that I've provided for you guys. So you guys can just go through everything. You guys can start practicing from here related to Python. Soon I'll be releasing notes for other subjects as well so that you guys are able to practice as much as possible. But this is something that I've currently built for you guys. Uh, you guys can go through the entire thing. You guys can learn from right over here. It's actually pretty good according to me uh, and pretty big. Okay. So daily, uh, you guys can open one note and finish it up. Now, how to use Google Collab? Okay. Uh, so for that, what you can do is you have to click on this connect button on the top right corner, right over here. You should be able to see a connect button. Just click on that and uh, it will connect you to a particular computer at Google. Uh, so you are, you are not actually running the code on your own computer. You are actually running it on a particular computer at Google. So you don't have to worry about anything uh, right over there. It provides you with almost 12.6 uh, gigs of RAM and almost uh, somewhere around 60 gigs of storage as well. Fast uh, DDR3 storage, uh, DDR, uh, sorry, not uh, that is RAM. Uh, SSD storage as well. So that is something that will be very helpful for you guys moving further. Uh, once you've connected, uh, you can just read through it. If you want to run something, you have to write some code or you want to run some code. You can just do a uh, control enter, control plus enter, or you can click on this play button. Okay. There will be a play button on the top uh, left You can click on that as well. Or if you want to do, you can also do shift enter, shift plus enter. That is also going to run the code for you. So. What I want you guys to do today, okay, uh, like I said, today we are not going to, I'm not going to teach anything. I'm not going to tell you guys anything. Uh, we are going to have a very small class. I provided you guys with the notes. I've told you how to open it up in Collab. What I want you guys to do today is just explore the day one notes. Okay, just explore the day one notes. Just try Google Collab on your own. Just try running some code. Try reading some code. Uh, try to understand some of the aspects. The reason for that is I want you guys to be familiar with Google Collab hands on so that from tomorrow onwards, when we are actually programming, when we are actually doing stuff, I want you guys to be ready for the same. I don't want you guys to be like, oh, how to run a code, oh, how to do all this kind of stuff itself. Uh, that is something that I don't want from you guys. So, uh, Will you guys be able to do this? Will you guys be able to access the notes, open it up on Google Collab, uh, try to read as much as possible, try to run uh, some of the code? Uh, will you guys be able to do that today? 
like you have a lot of time right still there is like 40 minutes left right so use that time to just try it out will you guys be able to do it today how can we communicate with you when we are having any doubts uh, you can reach out to me on instagram um, any time i will be more than uh, happy to help you guys out with the same uh, i don't know my uh, id let me check uh it's shora underscore sidha underscore suzy so you guys can reach out to me at any particular point of time i'll definitely help you guys out with the same how to practice daily by taking out time okay by taking out time by sitting for an hour every single day no matter what is happening in the world just try to practice during that particular time frame okay so will everybody be able to do it for those who are late in today's class who have just arrived right now uh, i have already provided the tasks to the students if you are late just rewatch the video from the starting you should be able to understand it properly okay so i'll give you guys today's attendance right now like i said today i'm not taking up a very long class i'm not going to tell you guys uh, to uh, wait or do to do something okay i've given you a very small task today guys just try to complete the task that is all that i'm asking from you guys see if you are doing what i'm telling you guys to do it would be much more easier for you guys to learn uh, throughout the entire camp okay that is the aim of providing you guys with small tasks so that you guys are able to do it okay again for those who are late in today's class i've already given the task i've already told everybody what to do how to do uh, and everything else as well so if you are late in today's class please do rewatch the video okay so that you are able to understand it uh, dipika you don't need the registration link your attendance will be considered as your registration as well so you don't have to worry about that so right now i'm going to give you guys today's attendance you guys can start filling up the uh, attendance as well and after that please start practicing please start going through the notes please start uh, trying to explore as much as possible in google collab that is all that i'm asking from you guys okay um uh, Mr. Abdul, just write Shaurya underscore Sinha underscore Suzy. You should be able to find me on Instagram. I have a very small account itself right over there. Okay. Uh, so right over here, uh, the attendance link is in the live chat. Mohit Sharma, your attendance will be considered as your registration. Okay. So don't worry about it. The attendance link is in the live chat. You guys can start filling up the attendance. We'll meet in our tomorrow's class and we'll continue from right over there. Again, guys, please do not forget. I've given you guys a small task today for those who are late in today's class. Please rewatch the video to understand the task, to understand what you have to do right now. If you are able to do it, it will become very easy for you guys over the next six days to understand and to practice and to learn. So that is the aim of this task, guys. Again, if you don't know what the task is, just rewatch the video. I've explained it very briefly, and uh, you will be able to understand it completely. I've shown it step by step how to do, what to do, where to do. Okay. So the attendance link is in the live chat. You guys can start filling up the attendance. We'll meet in our tomorrow's class, and we'll continue from right over there. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Bye, bye, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.